and they're the uh, I guess the the right wing media is trying to draw a line between corruption from other politicians, black female politicians specifically, and they're trying to, you know, connect Nick and Marilyn Mosby to people that have uh, former mayors that have had issues with regards to finances in Baltimore. This is unfair, uh, but this is this is done on purpose. They're doing this on purpose. And we cannot continue to sit by and let the right white media target our politicians and, and, not, and not say anything or do anything. Uh, so Baltimore City Council President Nick Mosby uh, was back on the job this week, back on the job now. Uh, in his first appearance since this federal criminal investigation into himself and his wife, uh, these two, if you don't know, uh, Marilyn Mosby is uh, the city state's attorney. And their their attorney, they have their own attorney who's, who's uh, advised them not to speak on this matter, which is smart advice. Uh, but their attorney is defending them against these federal criminal investigations into their finances. And uh, A. Scott Bolden is their attorney. He's a frequent guest on uh, Roland Martin Unfiltered. Uh, I believe he's out of the D.C. area. And so this investigation started under the Trump administration. And, you know, it is. The Mosby's targeted for for various reasons. Uh, you know, uh, Bill Barr didn't like some of the things that Marilyn Mosby was doing, and it is just it's disgusting how this is going down. They've consistently gone after Nick and Marilyn Mosby. Uh, Marilyn Mosby. Uh, shooting to uh, national prominence after uh, the Freddie Gray um, murder at the hands of the police and her bringing charges against some of those folks. So he, here's, here's what this, I mean, uh, the attorney, A. Scott Bolden, he said that, so what? Ms. Mosby recently purchased a condo and a second home that she rents out when she's not there. So what? Mrs. Mosby earns a salary, has a savings, a lender, a credit score, all to support her family, and she has a legitimate ability to purchase properties and invest her money any way she chooses. She is no different than anyone else who do or have done the same. This should not be news, he says, nor does it merit a federal investigation. So what? Uh, so that's his thoughts on that. I, I tend to agree with that. 